Today marks one year since Hurricane Maria slammed into Puerto Rico. The most powerful storm to hit the island in a century inflicted catastrophic damage that's still a long way from being repaired. CBS, four news, cor CBS news correspondent David Bagnow was in Puerto Rico when the Cat 4 storm hit and has been following the recovery efforts for the past year. Blue tarps still cover thousands of damaged homes across Puerto Rico one year after Hurricane Maria thrashed the island. Many people are still struggling to find a way to rebuild their homes. Pues, la ayuda llegó. This woman says the cost of raw materials skyrocketed after reconstruction of her house started, and then she ran out of money. The federal government has approved $1.4 billion to help residents of the U.S. Commonwealth, and Congress has approved nearly $20 billion for reconstruction and infrastructure improvements. But many here say aid money has been slow to arrive. FEMA admits it denied nearly a third of the 1.1 million applications for individual aid. Power is finally being restored to just about everyone on the island after Maria crumbled the already dilapidated power grid. But it took months for the island's government-owned electric company to get the lights back on, and outages happen almost daily. The lack of electricity may have contributed to the deaths of many elderly and sick people. The official death toll has been raised from 64 to an estimated 2,975 after a study conducted by George Washington University. Thursday morning at the seaside town where Maria made landfall, a choir performed a traditional Puerto Rican song, marking the anniversary and honoring the people who died. David Begno, CBS News. The Center for Puerto Rican Studies in New York says more than 135,000 Puerto Ricans have relocated to the U.S. mainland since the hurricane. The majority came here to Florida.